So welcome to our first vlog, vlog number one. Um, after long thinking, we decided to share with you our story because why not? She's weird, I'm weird, you're probably weird. By the way, we're, we're just shooting, so don't mind what we're wearing because we're shooting an amazing video for you guys. So keep watching the episodes and the vlogs. So I'm Camila and this is Anas and we are dancers certified dance instructors, choreographers, performers, business owners, bloggers. Um, we are wait, 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 wait. Let them watch this. <laughs> What you just saw that was a small part of what we do this is our passion this is our goal in our life that's what we love to do and that's actually how we met so seven years ago we met she used to work in new york i used to work in dubai i lived there for like around 12 years it was it was great it was great to live over there anyway and then uh we used to work for the same company it's a uh, and dance industry and then after that uh, she got relocated to Dubai where I was working and that's how we met mm -hmm. and immediately we became dance partners mm -hmm. um, I wanted to date her she didn't want to she was weird I don't know why uh, <laughs> yeah you remember yeah. you didn't want to be with I don't know you're weird yeah. still and, um, and then after that well after seven years here we go we performed a lot together we did we teach we work Hard. Back in 2014, I got promoted to a branch manager of one of the schools in the same company we work at, and that was in Abu Dhabi. But the only problem is that we used to live in Dubai, but we used to drive every day to Abu Dhabi for three years. Every day, one day off, 12 hours work every day. It's not that we're complaining. Yeah, yeah, that was a great experience. But it was it was tiring. It was yeah. really, really, really tiring. It was exhausting. Um, it just the drive and everything. Beautiful place, beautiful people, uh, beautiful days. I mean, besides that, we didn't have much time for us. It's mostly working, but mm -hmm. at the same time, it was pleasure, um, especially teaching people how to dance and and knowing that we are. Uh, part of their lives and changing part of their lives uh, that's that was the main uh, pleasure for us mm -hmm. and and that's why we kept going we didn't mind the drive and long hours and everything yeah the business was doing pretty good and we were really happy and then after a few years of working there we decided it's time for us to move on and do our own projects here's the thing it's more not about just that we mm -hmm. wanted to do our own projects but at the same time we're literally responsible for the training, I was doing the sales, I was doing everything almost and she used to assist me and there's teachers and there's a lot of students and was really really busy so we thought to ourselves that why not to do it for our own not just for somebody else we we love where we used to work and we love we appreciate everything we've learned however you know there's a time where the bird wants to fly and uh, this is where we decided to, why not, let's move. We made like a list of places where we would like to move. Um, so those places were US, Canada and Europe. And we even got a quite nice offer in Canada, right? That was working. Yeah, for, for the same company for that we same. used to work for. They have another branch in Canada, so 
they yeah. offered us a job. So that was actually quite safe position and great country. Everything sounded amazing. But we are risk takers, so yeah. we said like it was great offer, it was amazing, but we were like, okay, no, it's mm -hmm. not gonna work because we're still gonna work for someone, and that was not the plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The plan is to do it for our own. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Then go ahead. So basically, we are uh, driven people. Finally, we decided to move to Europe. We took like a tour around Europe to see where is the best place to be um, like Finland, Poland, Germany, Italy, uh, Austria, different countries. I visited Europe a couple of times but I really didn't know how life would look like till we actually moved and finally we found the place to be and where we wanted to stay. Can you guess where we are? We chose Vienna as a place to pursue our dreams. It's a beautiful city, great art, amazing architecture. We really appreciate the, the visual aspects of the city. It was voted the most livable city in the world for the past few years, apparently thanks to education, healthcare, and infrastructure. So we must agree with the infrastructure thing. It's actually very easy to move around and it's very affordable. Additionally, what you might not know, Vienna is the wine capital. It's the only city in the world that produces significant amount of wine within its city limits so that's a great aspect we never run out of wine and I guess that's what makes the city very livable at least for us the wine makes it very livable. I just did this yeah no oh. like okay <laughs> and as dancers artists and creators it's a beautiful city because it's full of art music dancing everywhere and there is a big ball season where everybody gets to is a big deal here everybody gets to um, dress up with their tuxedos and shiny shoes silky hair and the ladies wear gowns and the high heels and they dance the walls and many other dances and that's an amazing thing to do full of lights full of music full of dancing this is a beautiful thing so it's for us it's very obvious why we chose Vienna to be it's it's a lot of dancing here yes as Camila said it was voted the most livable city in the the world but in the other hand also it was voted the most unfriendly city in the world for the year 2017 well if you live here for a while you would probably understand why and the other part too is that I really don't understand this country they say we're green and green and green and green but I don't know why there's a lot of papers everywhere you open your drawer and there's papers. You open your mailbox, there's papers. You open your office, there's papers. You open your apartment door and there's papers. And there's papers, 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 papers everywhere. I still didn't get it. Why? There's a lot of papers. However, for sure, these are not the biggest problems that we're facing, but we just care and we hope for little changes. But definitely for the last three years, we faced bigger challenges and bigger issues to worry about while being here. The real problem is that this charming city that is presumably a capital for artists is at the same time a curse for them, including for us. And the reason for that is bureaucracy, old fashioned law, and what we believe a fear from other people coming here and doing things differently. Make sure to follow our vlog to share with you the challenges that we've been facing here for the last three years as an artist in the city of art.